Hi Pisces, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today. And a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you today. Wow, so I'm loving this so far. This is a beautiful, powerful energy here today. Now, a lot of good things are coming right? A lot of good things are coming, but there is some energy that has to get cleared. You got the devil and the three of swords. This is about clearing fear. Fear that is actually an illusion because fear can actually be changed into excitement, right? Are you scared to do something? Are you excited? Like, for example, imagine you're throwing a party. Now you're waiting for everyone to show up. Are you scared for them to show up? Are they coming? I'm anxious. Or are you like, man, I can't wait till they get here. It's excitement. And this is what your angels and guides are telling you. They're telling you to seek wisdom, not knowledge right now. This is, there is never a time right now that you need to be serious, right? I'll give an example. It doesn't matter if you get a flat tire. doesn't matter if you're running late. doesn't matter if you spill something on yourself. doesn't matter if someone's rude to you. There is never, ever, ever, ever a time to feel serious. Because no matter what, you're in that situation. And being serious immediately makes it worse. It's like basically like lowering your frequency to the point where you feel like you're wearing your weighted vest. Much, 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 much more difficult to do anything. So right now your angels and guides are telling you, avoid being serious at all costs, no matter what happens. I don't care if one thing goes wrong to another goes wrong to another goes wrong. Just don't do the opposite of what your enemy wants. If being serious is the enemy, auto war Sun Tzu, be happy. Be, be laugh at things, right? So if I, for example, say if I'm holding a dish and I drop it and it breaks, rather than be like, oh, I'm so stupid, I'll just be like, uh-oh, butterfingers, right? And then clear the energy. And that's what's going on here because this energy block that you have here, this could be a childhood trauma, this could be a past life. This is causing resistance and what resists persists. And right now your angels and guides are telling you that by you using this energy, seeking knowledge, not wisdom, for example, right? When you clear that energy, now you can expect your financial situation to change. Now you'll be able to control your reactions and control your life. Everything will change after that. I'll give you an example. Like why you want to seek knowledge and not wisdom? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> seek, 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 seek wisdom and not wealth. That's really what you're looking for. And I'll give you an example, right? Like imagine right now if I told you, would you rather get a million dollars once or would you rather get a million dollars annually, right? And that's what it comes down to. Wisdom, you'll be able to make money over and over and over again. That's, what, that's when you start looking at things from the big picture. But if you're just looking for wealth just one time, you know, that's the thing. So it's like teach a man a fish compared to like uh, 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 give a man a fish. And that's what's going on here for you. I see here that not only are you supposed to be mastering your finances, you got the king of pentacles here, eight of pentacles here, but you're supposed to be doing it very soon here. Remember, it is your birthright to be rich. You don't have to ask permission. You don't have to second guess this. This is something you are owed. You are owed to be in that penthouse. You are owed to be driving that limousine. You are owed to be driving, you know, flying first class, eating whatever you want. You are meant to experience contrast in a good way. You're supposed to experience not having money and now having money, right? You're supposed to have this. Your angels and guides are doing everything in their power to bring you this. Understand that you have a whole army of angels that want to see you rich and that they want to see you happy and, 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 and blossoming, right? And flourishing. And right now you got to remember, like when you speak with kindness, when you act with purpose, this is you helping guide them and then allowing them to help you. Because, for example, speaking with kindness is being kind to yourself, right? Uh-oh, butterfinger, similar to what I just said. But also acting with purpose, you know, having that poise, that grace. These things will open up so many doors for you in your life by showing your angels and guides that you are ready for new opportunities and that you fully are aware of how to play this game. Because at the end of the day, we are in a simulation theory. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you that there is a lot of new possibilities coming your way. Now, very interesting. You have empowerment, inner child, guardian, and confidence. So right now, it's like confidence is the word, right? Right now, feeling empowered. How do you do this? Your angels and guides are telling you to choose love. Love is happiness, peace, and joy. It leads to romance. But anytime you have a situation in your life 
Choose the handle of love, which empowers you, not the handle of fear that makes you feel powerless. So right now, imagine you have a situation going on in your life. Imagine you're asking yourself, should I stay at my job or should I find a new job? Now, if you look at it from the perspective of love, you're telling yourself, you know what? I'm going to find a job that is going to pay me what I'm worth and it's going to be closer to work and I can't closer to home and I can't wait to do this. But if you choose to handle a fear and you're like, oh my goodness, what if I can't find another one? What am I going to do? Right? It makes you feel powerless. You almost be like, you know, you're, it cripples you, right? It's like quicksand. And that's what's going on here. Your angels and guides are telling you, no need to ever pick fear, ever, ever, ever. It's nothing more than an illusion because fear is nothing more than excitement if you just look at it from a different perception. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you with the death card to close the chapter on looking at things from a fearful standpoint because it's not real. And understand fear is not, it's not thinking that nothing that can hurt you. Freedom is what you're looking for. Freedom is the only worthy goal. Freedom is the motivator, right? Freedom to say, yes, I'll fly first class. Freedom to say, no, I will not show up to work today. That's what you're looking for is that freedom. All right, now, very interesting. You have your inner child card here. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you that your inner child is trying to communicate with you. It's trying to direct you somewhere, right? And this is what it really comes down to. If you want to know what the infallible guide is, it's your inner child. Your inner child determines how confident you are. Your inner child determines how you feel. Your inner child determines how you think. So, so important. One trick that I love to use is I always visualize myself, you know, holding my inner child's hand, which looks, at, looks like me when I was like, say, five, six years old. And for me to like lean in and be like, listen, baby Vince, it's me, big Vince. I'm your older brother. You have nothing to worry about. From now on, I'm going to take care of you. Have no fear. And then you feel this like ah, sigh of relief, right? And that right there, when you feel that sigh of relief, that means you are confident. That means you have no more fear. So starting a business is easy. Asking someone on a date is easy. Now controlling what you can and accepting what you can is easy. Controlling the fact that you don't control the weather, right? Accepting the fact that you don't control the weather, you don't control the traffic, it won't upset you. And understanding that you also don't control the past, right? You will no longer be trying to manipulate the past uh, because it's just, you know, something that, you know, is out of our control. And now your focus and awareness is on what that inner child is saying, which is probably steering you towards exactly what your soul's purpose is, which will bring you the abundance that you seek. Now, you got the nine of cups and you also have justice. Very interesting, right? Your angels and guides are telling you anything you touch right now will turn into gold. Very, very important law of attraction card right here. And happiness is found in the present moment. Bring your awareness in the present moment. Your emotions are the steering wheel of your journey. It will guide you. And then you will find a happiness that you're looking for because you will be able to easily act with purpose. And what does that mean? Your point of power, your point of attraction is always, always, always the present moment. That's what happens every single time. So whenever, if you ever want to know how powerful you are, just think of the now, not what happened in the past. That's depression, not what's going to happen in the future. That's anxiety. If you're thinking of it from a fearful standpoint, but think of the present moment. Ask yourself, where am I right now? What am I doing? Right? Chances are you're doing something good. Chances are you're going for a walk. Chances are you're, you're making some money. Chances are you are about to cook a delicious meal. But it'll ground you immediately, right? You'll be like, okay, I'm safe. I'm okay, right? But whenever you're thinking of what could happen or what did happen, that's when things get scary. And that's why the present moment is always so powerful. All right, Pisces, speaking of the present, let's get some money and some love into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section and breathe life into these words by feeling them. And as you do, so, do this, you're quantum entangling with abundance, which is your birthright. So write down the following words exactly as you see here in the comment section. Take it one day at a time. Yes, this is you acknowledging you are not rushing and that everything you're looking for is going to come to you. Take it one day at a time. This is you healing right here. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like. Take it one day at a time. You acknowledging that everything good is on its way and that you are quantum entangling with that energy. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Final message is see me in their eyes. Look at that. All right now. Whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, always speak to their highest within them. This is about speaking to their soul, right? So whenever you speak to someone soul to soul, like right now I'm having this conversation, it's not like Vince's avatar with an ego and human filters to yours. No, no, it's my soul to your soul. 
I see the good in you. I see that every single soul out there has nothing but unconditional love within us. And sure, we have some, you know, human filters there, but don't worry about that. Focus on the soul and then that relationship will blossom and grow. All right, Pisces, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.